What's going on guys, it's Jaren from WearTistas.com. Here we have a performance review on the Reebok Z-Jet Run. So the Z-Jet Run's traction is extremely durable and it's gonna last for a long period of time. Whether you're on grass, the street, track, or a trail, the traction is gonna hold up very well and it's gonna cover you during any conditions. So Reebok also added these flex grooves that gives you really good range of motion to a model that otherwise would be stiff without them. Overall, the traction on the Z-Jet Run is extremely durable and it's gonna cover you in any conditions you come across as a runner. So the cushion on the Z-Jet Run features an air motion technology using what Reebok is calling speed channels. So these speed channels featured in between the flex group allow air to move from heel to toe depending on where your foot strikes. So if you're going to land on your heel and move all the way to the toe, that air is going to move with you and provide a dynamic cushion setup that provides impact protection and a responsive ride. So the midsole is a 3D Emiva midsole which is extremely lightweight, durable and responsive. So most of the weight on the Z-Jet Run comes from that air transfer cushion setup. While it's not extremely heavy, runners who are looking for a more lightweight model might want to reconsider. Heel strikers are going to get the most out of the air transfer system. The air is going to move towards the heel and as you move towards your forefoot, the air will move with your foot, providing a dynamic cushion setup. But regardless of your running style, the Z-Jet Run is going to provide maximum impact protection with a slight responsiveness. So the cushion setup on the ZJ Run has to do a lot with transition. That transition of air moving through the speed channels from heel to toe. Also these flex groups provide a smooth transition without sacrificing impact protection. So the heel to toe drop is about 12 millimeters which definitely caters towards heel strikers but provides a fluid transition for any style of runner. So overall the cushion setup complements the transition of the ZJ Run really nicely. So that air motion technology adapts to the runner's foot strike and provides maximum impact protection without sacrificing flexibility. So two materials make up the Z-Jet Run's upper. On the midfoot to forefoot you have Jet Fuse and on the heel you have that NanoWeb technology for extra added support. So here on the forefoot the Jet Fuse is basically a synthetic overlay with a mesh underlay. It's very breathable although it does bow awkwardly in the medial forefoot. It doesn't really wrap around your foot as nicely as it could have. So the NanoWeb technology on the heel offers structural support to keep your foot centered so you could utilize that cushion setup. So overall all the materials on the Z-Jet Run don't offer anything revolutionary, but it does offer lightweight structural support and durability so you can get the most out of the cushion setup it has to offer. So as mentioned in the material section, the jet fuse used in the forefoot doesn't wrap around your foot as nicely as you would like it to. It bows a little awkwardly in that medial forefoot and there's a lot of dead space between your foot and the upper of the shoe. As far as the heel lockdown, that also isn't the best feature on the Z-Jet Run. Heel slippage is a problem and the tongue slides quite a bit for an uncomfortable fit. You're always gonna have to be readjusting if that bothers you. And as a runner, you want as little distractions as possible. And the heel slippage and the tongue sliding is definitely a big distraction. So an extra eyelet up here would have really helped the tongue sliding issue and possibly that heel lockdown issue. So go down half a size is absolutely recommended. There's just too much dead space in the Z-Jet Run to go true to size. So the ventilation on the Z-Jet Run is one of its best features. So that mesh underlay provides 360 degrees of ventilation while it's not going to provide extreme airflow a lot of heat is going to be able to escape during your run maintaining a cool and comfortable ride so most of the support on a z-jet run comes from the cushion setup and the nano web technology found on the heel so that cushion setup provides maximum impact protection and the nano web keeps your foot centered so those speed channels can work effectively unfortunately the overall fit and the lack of an extra eyelid doesn't let the nano web technology work to its full potential. So while this is a running review, it should be noted that the Z-Jet Run doesn't really support you during side-to-side -side lateral movements. And even though while you're running, you're not really doing side-to-side -side lateral movements, a lot of people use the same parachutes for running and training. When doing lateral movements in the Z-Jet Run, your ankles are at high risk of rolling. 
can't really pinpoint the issue. I just think the way the shoe is designed, it doesn't offer lateral support. So before I get to the overall session, there's an important note that I need to add. The ZJ Run comes in two different versions. This is what I call the half nano web version. There's another version that features nano web on the entire upper. I'm gonna have pictures here. You see on the left hand side, the half nano web upper. And on the right hand side, the full nano web upper. I recommend getting the full nano web upper as there are some different features on it, such as an extra eyelet and a different material on the upper. It's more of a fabric like material and it's going to conform to your foot a lot better than what we see here on the half nano web version of the Z Jet Run. Finish Line has both versions available, and while I would still go down half a size on each model, the full nano web version is going to provide a little bit better of a fit. For more information, check out the full write up review at Wear Tessa's. Com. The link will be in the description below. So overall, I feel like Reebok has something really good to build on here. The cushion setup provides maximum impact protection with a slight bounce to it for any unique foot strike and the 360 degrees of ventilation provide a cool and comfortable ride. Also the 3D Eneva midsole is extremely lightweight and durable, it cuts down a lot of weight on the Z-Jet run. Sadly the poor fit and lack of support doesn't allow the user to get the most out of that amazing cushion setup. While going down half a size can help remedy some of these issues, ultimately the Z-Jet run needs a little bit more work done with the overall fit to ensure heel lockdown so you can get the most out of that air transfer system. I would recommend going with that full nano web upper if you can go to your local finish line and try them out try out a couple sizes to ensure the best option for you anyways i hope this helped you out if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below and be sure to check out weartesters.com for any of your performance needs i'll see you guys in the next one peace